In question eight, we have a small ring here, treaded on a piece of string, eight meters long. The whole string is eight meters long. And it's fixed at P and Q. And the ring describes a horizontal circle and Q is four meters below P. So if this one is four, and we call the radius X, this has to be eight minus X. And we just have one unknown there. We can use Pythagoras to find X. So that will be four squared plus X squared is equal to eight minus X to be squared. So we're going to get 16 plus X squared is equal to 64 minus 16 X plus X squared. Tidies up nicely. If we bring 16 to the right, we're going to get 64 minus 16. And uh, bring 16x to the left, we'll end up with x is equal to 3. So my triangle now has a radius of 3. We have a 4 and we have a 5. We have an angle if we need it. So let's do my forces. We're looking for the radius. We have the radius and then w in terms of g. So let's look at our forces here coming down from the ring and going towards the center. So we have MG is my force down and this is my force up and I have tension in the string. So my angle A, this is gonna be T sine A and this would be T cos A. So sine A, what have I got here? Sine A is four over five. Cos A, 3 over 5. So T sine A is 4T over 5. And T cos A is 3T over 5. So first of all, up down, we have, up and down, we have 4T over 5 is equal to Mg. So in terms of T, T is equal to 5Mg over 4. And then our combined forces towards the center will be my centripetal force. And we're dealing in W this time. So MW squared R will be my T, my T, and my 3T over 5. So T plus 3T over 5 is my MW squared R. We have R is 3. So this is 8 fifths of T, 8 fifths of 5mg over 4. We'll leave me with 2mg. And that's going to be equal to m by uh, 2mw. Putting in. Oh, that's right. 2mw squared or no, 3 or 3. 3. So equals 3m. W squared, could divide by m a bit earlier, but W squared is equal to 2g over 3. So W is the square root of this, which is 19.6 over 3, 6.5 in a bit. So the square root of that on the calculator, 2.556, 2.56 radians every second.